Hey, look what FedEx brought today. It's upside down for you guys, but we can read it just fine. It says Starlink and we are super excited. I just started a new job and we cannot have work getting in the way of camping season. So Starlink it is. Elon, most likely as engineers, designed Starlink to service the areas of the country, of the world, uh, that are more remote and probably doesn't have the best internet coverage there is. And what better place to go camping than the areas that are remote and probably don't have a lot of internet. However, she can't have that with a new job if she's playing hooky on a day or two. <laughs> Our cell phone service has been spotty at best at the campground, so we figured it was time. Let's see what's inside. I've already cut the tape, so you don't have to watch me struggle in doing that. So all we gotta do is open this bad boy up. And what do we find but a logo. What's underneath the logo? Nothing. I've got some plastic. And this is where everything comes into play. This looks like the base for the unit. I would call the receiver. Yeah, let's go with that. The satellite thing, even bobber. Probably instructions in here. There it is. Three simple instructions. Put that into there. Plug it in. Wi-Fi Starlink. I'm sure there's got to be more. Ah, this is the really cool looking router. That. Oh man. Okay. This cord, sorry everybody. This cord is about 50 to 100 feet long, it looks like. This goes from here into this, and then we've got power cord to go from that into the wall. And that's it. Piece of cake. So, all of the plugs, all, both plugs, are water resistant and or proof i don't know one of the two you've got the power port here and it's got a nice rubber ring around it and it shoves in pretty snug and then where the the cord for that plugs in also has the same rubber thingy so i was just looking to see which way it goes in Pretty snug, and it looks to be, to me, like you should be able to leave that outside because of that. However, I don't really wanna. So that was step one and two. Now we gotta go to Wi-Fi and hook up Starlink. Oh, I gotta plug it in. We're on the deck. I'm just gonna walk over here and do it. There's that. Try not to trip over your cords. Don't squish Amy's pretty flowers. Ta-da! Open for lights. Something? Anything? See what I find in my settings? I'm not finding Starlink. Here it is, a switch. Ooh, okay. I've got a light on down here. Right in the bottom middle, we got a light. Really tiny light. Um, oh! The satellite dish just moved. Of course, we're underneath an umbrella. Ooh, darling. <laughs> Sorry, it's exciting. Unable to join the network, darling. Of course you are. Okay, so there's an app for that. I'm going to my Starlink app, which I already got. Start setup. Uh, 
Um, check for obstructions. Find an open area, scan the entire sky. Okay, so point your camera up. Aha, scan the entire, I'm gonna do it underneath the umbrella first, cause that's where it is. What did I miss? There we go. View results. That's estimating obstructions. I would love to know if the umbrella counts as one. This may take a moment. Uh -huh, processing. Uh, you may want to find a better spot. According to this, we got obstructions all above us because that's where the, you can see the red above the little satellite dish. That's the umbrella. So, you don't want to ever have this indoors, apparently. Uh, I'm just going to kind of walk it out into the middle of the yard here. We're going to try a new location. So I'm going to go out here. Viewing results. Ooh. And what do we got? This is a great place for your Starlink. Great. Oh, Yay. set up Starlink here. There we go. Start setup. I have a location. Plug in your Starlink. Okay. I guess you should go to the app first. <laughs> so it says to plug in your Starlink. So I did. It's facing up. Join the Starlink Wi-Fi network. It may take about 30 seconds for it to appear. Open Wi-Fi settings. Starlink. It's thinking. And it's thinking. Oh! It is connected. Create a network. Ooh. We are entering a Wi-Fi network name and a password. So hold please. This is going to be private. We are back. We have our camping companion's Wi-Fi hooked up. That is the new Starlink. So we head back. Aha, connecting. Connecting the Starlink satellites. This may take a few minutes. Mm. This is the part we speed up. <laughs> I got just a little spinny thingy on the phone. I guess this would be a good time to say when we're out camping, if a patio umbrella obstructs the signal, camping in a wooded area is probably not a good idea. Which, I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's gotta be similar to like satellite TV. And I don't ever think I've owned satellite TV. But you would think you could get a signal through a tree or a patio umbrella. But what do I know? I'll call Elon. If this works the way we want it to, we're going to replace Spectrum Internet as our cable provider here because that is the only choice. It's good, but it's the only choice. Until now. Can't take Spectrum with you, though. So they weren't kidding when they said it was going to take a few minutes. It finally connected. I would say it was a good 10 to 15 minutes before it actually did. The satellite dish has pivoted back and forth once or twice um i'm going to start a speed test just to see how fast we are now here's the thing where we live we are in the expected in 2023 area however according to their website we're still supposedly getting speeds here but they're not they're not going to be great but i don't know how bad it says on the website five to 150 megabits per second which is a huge range um even if we're in the middle of that somewhere i'd be pleased but for how long this is taking we'll see check back in a minute daddy's speed testing rex is supervising he's a good supervisor so we had a software update that we just performed they have a speed test on the app. 
right now we're getting 49 megabits per second. We are currently in the wait list area uh, where we live. So that what they say is that by 2023, we'll have full speeds here. However, also having the RV package limits us. So they do say five to 150 megabits per second in this area. When I first did a speed test, it said five. And I was a little worried because if we're gonna use this as our year round internet at home and camping, five is not enough for Amy to work from home. So after the software update, another speed test 49 for what amy's gonna do at home should be plenty as far as running and streaming like tv and on our phones if we're doing everything all at once that remains to be seen we'll probably come back and revisit this so stay tuned however i'm pleased with 49 compared to five the app for starlink is kind of not intuitive it's weird it might take some getting used to, but for, I mean, we've had it for a half an hour, so who knows? We're going to figure it out from here. On Thursday, we're going to Chenango State Park, and we are taking this with us. According to the map, that is an area that's covered because it is remote. So Amy also needs to work on Friday. We're hoping this works or else she's working out of a Starbucks that day. Just saying. If you found this video helpful, give us that thumbs up. Leave us a comment below. Do you have Starlink? Are you looking to get Starlink? Is there any questions we can answer? Like I said, we're 45 minutes into this whole thing. So we might not be able to have your answer right now, but we're going to have it once we go out camping. So let us know what you want to know or what you want to see or what you want, anything about it. And we will do our best to answer it for you. Subscribe, ring the bell and Above all else, happy camping. Happy camping. Holy crap, dog, around the chair. <laughs> why, 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 why? No, 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 no. <laughs> he loves so, you, daddy. <laughs> on Thursday, we gotta take this to Ch Chemung Valley. Oh, God. There is a camp called I know Chemung there's Valley. a Chemung Valley. <laughs>